Today, I'm going to share with you our five favorite Google Chrome extensions we use all the time as Squarespace web designers. Some of these extensions are very specific to Squarespace, but a few of them are great regardless of what platform you design in. The one thing they do have in common is that they all save us a ton of time and streamline our processes. So what's not to love about that? So let's jump into our five favorite Chrome extensions for Squarespace website designers. So the first extension that I want to talk about is the Squarespace ID Finder. If you're a Squarespace designer and you haven't used this before, this is going to change your life. I guess really only though if you're using custom code or custom CSS, because that's probably the only time you really need to know the Squarespace IDs. But if you are custom coding, I'm sure you've used section IDs, page collection IDs, and block IDs before, and this ID finder is going to make your life so much easier. Instead of crawling through the code to try and find each ID, you just click at the top and it will give you the page, section, and block IDs for everything on the page you're looking at. All you have to do is click and it will automatically copy that ID into the clipboard so you can use it in your code. So the next extension that we use all of the time as web designers is Go Full Page, Full Page Screen Capture extension. This one just makes it really easy to take full page screenshots of your web designs. So we have an extra tutorial all about how to use this app in the best way. And I'll make sure I link that below as well. But basically, once it's in your Chrome, you just need to click it and it will automatically start taking a full page screenshot of the page that you're on. So this is incredible for showcasing your website designs in your portfolio or on social media or just anywhere that you want to showcase your design and not have to take multiple small screenshots and stitch them all together. Once it's done, you can just download it as a PNG and design it up however you want to for your portfolio or social media. Another amazing extension to use if you're a web designer is what font. So basically this one just shows you what fonts are used on the website that you're viewing. So once you've installed the extension, just click it and you can essentially just hover over any font and it will tell you what it is. So Free Big Pro, Roboto, DM Sans, it's going to tell you all of the different fonts used around whatever website you're viewing at the time. So then the next really cool thing about this is once you've identified the font, you can actually click on it and it will tell you the font, the style, the weight, the size, the line height, and the color. So this is so great to try and find the name of the fonts that you've seen and that you like. Another really good one is Colorzilla. So as you can probably imagine, this one is good for figuring out colors quickly. So if you're on a website and you love the color palette, you'd love to know the color codes for some specific colors around the site, just click on the extension. You can use the eyedropper tool to just pick a color from the page. So you can see when I hover over anything in the top, you'll see the color and the color codes all show up here in the top. So I'm just going to click on the one that I want and it's going to copy it instantly to the clipboard. You can see it continues to stay selected and you can continue to copy it again if you want to. And you can also resample the last location. You can also view your picked color history. So all of your previous colors will show up here. So if there's previous colors that you picked that you may have liked for inspiration, you don't have to immediately save those somewhere. You can always just come back to this extension and peruse through the colors that you saved and choose them from there. So this extension just makes it so easy to find colors around the internet and save them without having to search through code or take screenshots and then import them into your design software. It's just a huge time saver. So we love it. So the last extension I want to talk about, and it's definitely not the least, is the Square Website Tools Pro. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this is one of the best extensions. And I guess sort of you'd call it an app or software if you're a Squarespace designer. Now the Squarespace Website Tools Pro extension is by squarewebsites.org. And they sell this extension as a monthly or yearly subscription. And they have a few different variations of it too. They have, I think, a light and a pro. The light offers some basic functionality and the pro is the full suite of capabilities, which are, in my opinion, a lot. And it's definitely worth it if you're a designer. Now, the biggest thing that this extension is really well known for is the ability to transfer Squarespace pages or collections to other Squarespace sites. 
for some reason, Squarespace have never launched this as an ability. I don't know why this isn't included, but if you ever need to transfer content from one website to another, pretty much the only way you can do this, I believe right now, is through this extension. I know Squarespace doesn't offer this. There could be other extensions, but this one is definitely best known for its transferring capabilities. And I don't actually know of any other apps that offer this. So for that alone, it's worth it. And I think that you can even get that functionality just on the light plan. And you can just subscribe for a month if you wanted to do that. So this is what the extension looks like here. I have the pro extension, so it probably has some more options compared to the light extension. But the most important thing that this extension offers, like I said, is the transferring. So if you go into your pages and you hover over them, you'll see this get collection data feature pop up when you have the app enabled. If you click on this, it's basically just going to copy that entire page or that entire collection. Then you can open up any new site, click on the extension and click create from data. So it's basically just going to create a new page based on what it copied from wherever you copied it from. So this is great because you can do this within a site or you can do it from site to site. You can do it from 7.0 to 7.1 and vice versa. So if you're trying to change Squarespace versions, this is basically the fastest way to do it if you have stuff on your website that you wanna move over. And you can also copy blog content, all of your blog posts. It's just the best and I have a feeling the only way to do this right now. So if you're a Squarespace designer and you don't know about this tool, this is going to save you a ton of time in transferring content. But if you're not doing that much transferring of content and you're just trying to speed up your design process, this app is so awesome for so many other reasons as well. They've just improved the UI of the editor so much to make things faster for designers and developers. You can see that they've just added these quick links across the top that you can add to. And there's also a ton of other features. One of the ones I really love is the custom CSS search box. Now, if you have a lot of CSS or if you're working with a lot of code, you'll realize pretty quickly that it is very unorganized in here and there's no way to search through your CSS, which is honestly crazy. So if you have this pro tool enabled, you can actually search. So they've added a search box in there for us, which is a huge time saver when you have an incredible amount of CSS and you have no way to search through it except for scrolling to try and find things. So this one is a huge time saver for us. If you use custom code, I highly recommend it. That alone, just that search box, is worth the $20 a month I spend on this app or whatever for the amount of time it saves. But like I said before, you can also just subscribe for a month instead of a whole year, which is really great if you're just doing some heavy coding on a site or if you need to do a few site transfers. You could just pay for the month. The plans are very flexible, which is really great for us designers. So I would highly recommend this one. And just checking out what other tools they offer as well included in that extension, because there might be a few things in there that are just huge time savers for you, depending on your process and what you need. Okay, that's it for our roundup of our favorite extensions to use as website designers and Squarespace website designers specifically. So if you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing about new extensions or apps that can save us time or just make designing in Squarespace easier. I'm going to link all of those extensions below so you can just scroll down and easily access any of those if you can't find them. If you have any questions as well, put them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. It helps us out so much to make more of these free tutorials for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.